So I got some mangoes, bananas, strawberries, and peaches. I also want to show you something. I got these. I've been seeing them on Instagram and I have to get them. I feel like they're gonna be nice. I'm gonna do a taste test later. I also got some fruit roll up because I want to try it with the ice cream. I feel like I'm the last person to do that, but we will do a taste test later. Okay, so I've been waiting for unpacking to be on sale because I don't want to pay the full price. <laughs> and finally, they are on sale. And there are a lot of games that are on sale, but I just purchased one game at a time like during sale because I need to be responsible <laughs> these I did not play them yet this one is so good Hoko Life is to be honest a little bit disappointing because I found it a little bit boring this one is nice this one this one is good kind of good this one is so relaxing I used to play it right before I go to sleep and it's so relaxing this is the cutest game ever. I'm redoing my island for the third time and I'm having fun. I don't know how to feel about this the crunchy part here is good but here there is part that did not touch the ice cream so it's still a little bit chewy and I don't like it <laughs> I feel like it's sticking to my teeth is it good? yeah will I do this again? probably not So after a well-deserved break, it's time to get back on track. So for this collection, I'm thinking that I'm gonna make a mini collection. The collection is gonna be about takoyaki collection. And if you don't know what is takoyaki, takoyaki is a Japanese dish which literally translates to grilled octopus. And to explain them more, they are like a mini savory pancake. So I'm choosing takoyaki because it's really like almost in every anime like especially in like school festival or like summer festival and it just looks so cute and adorable and of course it tastes so good and looking at it 
drawing it makes me happy. So that's why I'm gonna make this collection. <laughs> there is no deep reason except for me obsessing with it. So for this mini collection, I'm thinking that I'm gonna make four stickers that I already drew and posted on my Instagram. And I'm gonna make a sticker sheet. I never made one, so that will be exciting. And I'm gonna make two prints and some clay products. So for the clay, I'm thinking I'm gonna make some clay pins. And I'm gonna make another thing with clay. I'm Right now, I'm not totally sure. I'm gonna see if it's gonna work out or not. So stay tuned for that. So the reason that I'm gonna make this a mini collection. In my case, I recently just started a small business or like opening my shop. So I felt the need that I need to make more variety and make more shop update to show people that I have some stuff and making many product takes time to like design them and then like making them and taking that break it's not really break but you know to design product and make them it really affect my social media and it affect the engagement i don't want to just disappear for a while and then come back and be like hey i made product and people already forgot about me so yeah i felt the need that I need to show up more and that's what I'm making a mini collection So for these, I think I need to just print them alone, not with the other stickers. I feel like a really nice size. Ah, so cute. So these are gonna be the final sizes. I feel like they're so nice. I like wanted to make this bigger, but it's gonna be like too big. So I feel like this is a nice size. I make such a difference filming them on this table and then transfer them on the white table. So much brighter here. Hey guys, this is a quick five minute full body warm up that you can do before any of your workout sessions for any of my programs on quoting.com.
So what I did, I put all the illustration in RGB file and then adjust the color. I increased the brightness a little bit and played with the hue a little bit, just, just a tiny bit. Nothing too crazy. So I'm gonna do that right now for the rest. I hope it works. I'm not gonna lie, this took me two hours. This is gonna take 10 hours. I'm dying. I'm dying inside. I have to do this again. So the reason why the paper got stuck is because the edge or the corner of the papers are a little bit rounder for some reason although i just got it out of the envelope or or from its packet i don't know what's the reason so i stacked some paper behind it to help it make it flat when the printer pull it out and it's kind of help but it's kind of not so what I've learned from my previous shop update that sometimes my printer or like my equipment sometimes they just it's not their day they will not work out and the more that I fight the more frustrated I get so I just turn everything off take a step back and come back the next day with a fresh mind that's really funny and that day I just wrote that i need to make stickers but in my mind i was like you're just gonna make sticker you're gonna have more time and you need to make more things but i just wrote let's make stickers and then I'm gonna see how much time i have in that day and i'm gonna fit whatever task fit for that day but ah uh, yeah sometimes you just don't know how long the task is gonna take even sometimes you know it's not gonna take that long but sometimes it's just not your day <laughs> or things just don't work out for you So I put all these heavy stuff so the paper will be straight and don't bend when it's printing. It's much better than the yesterday. I'm gonna keep it like this because they do bend over time. So yesterday I wasted these two precious paper, but I'm not gonna throw them, I'm just gonna cut this part and use the rest of it for testing colors so they're not a waste so a thing that i want to talk about is manufacturing product when i started i knew that i'm gonna make my own product like for stickers and print and i kind of really did not want to make my own product because it takes time effort and some equipment like you need to invest in equipment but i really think it's worth the investment because you have the control over the quality and the quantity of your product especially if you're starting the quantity of products really matter because you don't want to have a high inventory of product in case it did not sell well or you did not like them and really have the control over the quality of the product yes it's gonna take like some time and effort to adjust them and test things out until it meet your expectation but i feel like all of that work really worth it this is a pin board that i wanted for my pens and my keychain collection so i thought 
it will be nice to collect them and like put them here i also got this microphone because i know i'm killing you with the audio quality i apologize but i bought one in the past and it was so bad and i don't want to invest a high quality microphone yet so i thought this might do the job so oh there's two so i'm putting the mic right now i don't know if it's good or not i really need to check this I think it will be nice if I put it here, it will be so nice. But I'm still traumatized from what happened to this wall. If you don't know what happened, you can check this video to see what damage that I did to that wall. So I might just leave it here, but it does not look nice, but we'll see. Right now I need to eat, I'm so hungry, then I'm going, I'm gonna put my pins and my keychains later. I'm gonna show you later usually when i make spring rolls i usually just use a lot of veggies and like a source of protein like tofu or shrimp sometimes i will use imitation crab but i thought today i want to be a little bit creative so i thought they will be nice with salmon and a lot of people use noodles inside of them so I thought that would be nice to have. I know it does not look that good, but the spring rolls that I got is like the mini size. I could not find the big size, so it was a little bit hard to wrap everything together. So that's why it looked a little bit off. But as far as it tastes good, that's what is matter for me. For the dressing, I usually use this sweet and savory sauce, but unfortunately it was expired, so I thought I will make my own sauce. So I used this bulldog carbonara sauce and I put some soy sauce, crunchy garlic with chili oil, and I put some sugar later on, but I forgot to film it because I wanted to balance the saltiness. And for my second sauce, I just used a sweet chili sauce. And it was so yummy. So what I want to do is divide it. I want to keep one section for the keychain and the other section for the pins. So these pins really not working for the keychain because I feel like they're about to fall off. And I think I need to use the hook pins for them so i don't have that right now so i need to buy them so i'm gonna leave that for the next vlog and and for the next vlog i'm gonna make my print i'm gonna draw it soon and i think as soon as i finish it i'm gonna post it on my instagram so if you want to see it you can follow me there and see you in the next one bye